Yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy D, aka the Strange Squad General, back in the building with another vlog. And you see me, I'm out here in the woods, man. Hey, guess what, y'all? It's November, and your boy got a t shirt on. Ain't that crazy? Like, I should have a whole coat on right now, but instead I have a t shirt on. I'm thinking God said we're gonna skip winter and take us straight to spring, which I'm grateful for, you know? It's so beautiful out here. Figured I'd take advantage of it, um, get out here, do some healthy things. I know y'all haven't seen me out in the woods in a minute, but we out here, man. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you can be a part of the Strange Squad family. Appreciate all you guys, man. Let's get on with it. How can you not be happy about life? Look at this. This is real. This is not fake. So on those rainy days, on those days when the weather don't look so good, just know that the sun is going to come back out eventually. Regardless of what, whatever you're going through in life, just know that the storms don't last. And if you woke up this morning, no matter what, no matter what comes your way, just know that you're here when someone else isn't. So you're automatically blessed. You're here while someone else didn't wake up. Just think about that. So does everything else that you encounter really, really matter at the end of the day because you're alive, bro. You're here. Someone else is not here to complain. Sorry, y'all, my camera went out, but like I was saying, man, someone else is not here to complain or here to be thankful. You're here, man. You might as well use this time to be thankful, bro. Life is too precious. It's too beautiful. It's too beautiful to not dwell on the finer things of life, the more important things. Everything that we value, man, live for that, work for that. I ain't gonna preach too much, man, because we getting ready to step it up, but I just wanted to inspire. That's what the channel is about, man. We here to motivate and inspire. I don't know if you knew. We do all, all different types of stuff, but we're here to motivate and inspire above all. I'm trying to show you guys this woodpecker. I never seen one that was black and white. He trying to hide now. He behind the tree, y'all. I'm trying to show y'all. Come on out, buddy. There you go. There you go. There you go, y'all. They went hiding again. He ain't trying to be featured on the vlog. He up top. All right, y'all. Say what's up to the vlog, bro. What's, what's up, you too? <laughs> <laughs> I got my ride or die out here with me doing healthy things. That's you know right. what I'm saying? So, there's all kinds of animals, man. It's <laughs> like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just becoming like a nature person. I'm about that nature life, but I'm not because I be trying to duck all the lions and tigers and bears that be out here. Oh man. <laughs> How you feeling? You feeling nah? You feeling fired up? I need hey, I need some life in that. How we feeling? I'm feeling fired up. Strength fit. Yeah. All right, you guys. It's the very next day. I decided to go ahead and finish the video today as opposed to yesterday because by the time I got back, guys, I was dog tired. I was dog tired. Mind you, 
all y'all saw was the outdoor footage, you know, me running, you know what I'm saying, enjoying the cool day God blessed us with, but which I don't realize is before that, I had a heavy lift session, I was training, on top of that, um, I woke up early to take care of a lot of business when it comes to my personal business, so by the time I got back, guys, I was tired, I was dog tired, and I, I, I refuse to give you guys that energy, you know, I'd rather make sure that, you know what I'm saying, I'm giving you guys the best me that I can give y'all, so it's the next day, guys, and today, actually, we're recording five videos, five videos today guys so we're on it we're working hard to provide content for you guys all of you guys who have been watching my content faithfully i do appreciate y'all um y'all are aware of you know some of my fitness journey in terms of my recent uh my recent episodes meaning you know i kind of fell off a little bit i talked about that in a few videos ago but keep in mind we have new subscribers every day so i'm just going to kind of recap as to um, where I was at when it comes to that and where I'm at today and how it relates to the actual title of this video. I'm just going to say in a brief summary a few videos ago, I let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, your boy been kind of like, I fell off the wagon when it came to my nutrition. So I've been training kind of slight, but I fell off the wagon somewhat. And I disregard the noise, guys, I'm by the window. But I fell off the wagon, man, I kind of just lost my focus, to be honest with you guys. I lost my focus when it comes to training. And that's really not me, you know what I'm saying? That's really not me. I have little moments, I have pockets. Uh, of times where I kind of like have these little moments and I get back on it which is one of those this is one of those times now where that's exactly the case but anyway so um, I kind of fell off you know what I'm saying and I noticed that with me guys I'm just sharing I'm giving you guys an insider when it comes to me um, anytime I have like you know training means the world to me it's really like my life that's one of the reasons why I actually quit bodybuilding because of the pressure that comes with bodybuilding so to speak I just kind of wanted to fall back from that and just focus on just the more important things which is just being healthy you know what i'm saying as opposed to uh having relatively large muscles and things of that nature i wanted to fall back just from that pressure every muscle that you have in every cracks and crevices of your insertions just having to keep emphasizing growing 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 now i just i wanted to fall back from that you know what i'm saying just focus on just being healthy focus on training just focus on you know enjoying the grind and it got to the point where it wasn't really fun for me no more doing bodybuilding but you know at the end of the day training is always fun for me in general so don't get it twisted you know bodybuilding is just a certain approach um, but at the same time I wanted to switch my approach up I wanted to you know fall back when it comes to that aspect of training and just switch things up you know what I'm saying I'm evolving in life I'm growing in life and as you evolve things are going to change you know what I'm saying hopefully for the better hopefully your expectations in life is to always try to fine tune and do things to improve the quality of your life you know what I'm saying and sometimes you got to let go of certain things in order for you to evolve and grow but anyway so i've been doing that and um, i was close to reaching my goal guys when it comes to my personal goal now mind you i'm this is what i do year round i'm also a trainer i personal train but this is what i do year round but you know when it comes to my personal goal that i set out you know i was on it heavy and then i suffered a cab injury and once that kind of like and i know it's easy to say you know well why not just you know if you can't run, just do this and do that, you know, and rightfully so, you're absolutely right, but for some reason, whenever I suffer an injury, sometimes I kind of like get down a little bit, get down on myself, and I kind of go through like a little bit of a, you know what I'm saying, a little moment where I'm like, man, depressed because I can't go full throttle. I cannot stand setbacks. I understand setbacks is a natural, it's a part of life. It's nothing you can do about it but make your adjustments, you know what I'm saying, do what you got to do to get back on the ground. But I hate setbacks. If you know anything about me, you know I cannot stand setbacks. But um, sometimes when you know I suffer certain setbacks, certain things that just kind of get in the way of the things that I enjoy doing, it kind of you know I kind of get down a little bit. And I think that's what happened, guys. I got down about it because I was so close to reaching my goal. I'm the hardest critic of myself. There's nobody in the world who could be hard on me more than me. And that's just because the expectations that I set for myself is through the roof, guys. It's high. So I'm always, you know what I'm saying, kicking and scratching, trying to, you know, figure out how I can be better, how I can improve when it comes to everything that I'm going after in life and just as a human being, as a man in general. So whenever I suffer any setbacks, you know, it's almost like, you know, like, man, I can't perform like I want to perform. And sometimes, you know, I get in my head, I think that's what happened. I started eating, you know what I mean, whatever. I was like, man, bump this, bump that. I started eating crazy. I was like, man, you know, I'll get back on it. You know, as soon as my um, calf recovers, I'll get back on it. And, um, but, and, you know, meantime, in between time, I just was like, you know, eating pizza, eating dumb stuff. And I kind of, you know what I'm saying, kind of was losing myself somewhat. And I said, you know what, bro, we got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you, you of all people know, 
you know that this ain't cool. You of all people know that you, you know what I'm saying? You can't keep this energy going. You got to change things up. You got to switch things up. You got to grab hold of the steering wheel. You got to get back on it. So with that said, guys, um, I've already started training. I try not to just come to the camera and be like, this is what I'm going to start doing. I try to already have that motion in ocean before I even come to the camera just so I know I'm proving it to myself that I'm doing. So I already started my training. I'm already focused. That said, I'm done. I'm done playing games with my potential. I'm done playing games when it comes to just um, not having me discipline in the nutrition department. I'm done not going hard, guys. You know, mind you, my calf is feeling much better. I'm back on running, you know what I'm saying? But regardless, regardless, I'm making the decision today to say regardless, man. I'm going to always use every single limb that is working. If only 75% of me is working, then I'm going to go 100 with the 75% of me that is working so that's my mindset so i'm done playing games um i'm back on it when it comes to my nutrition i'm actually switching up my uh, nutrition approach somewhat and i'll talk to you guys about uh what that entails in future videos let me know if y'all here for that content let me know if y'all want to know um you know how i personally approach when it comes to dieting nutrition things of that nature so i'm switching some stuff up i'm gonna share that with you guys but specifically let me know if you guys are you know just have any questions in general but i'm done playing games you know what i'm saying i'm back on it i'm back focused i'm back on my grind so the pizza the crazy stuff you know we're still going to observe our cheat days don't get it twisted but i'm talking about not cheating every day and i'm the type of person that like i said if i look at food long enough it results to calories. I am an easy gainer, guys. If I look at food long enough, I promise you, just looking at it alone is going to turn into calories. In all actuality, is you know a good thing when you, when you think about it because at the end of the day, we should be putting good stuff in our bodies anyway. You know what I'm saying? So God don't make no mistakes. So I'm done playing games. Y'all going to see. Um, I'm proving it to myself. I'm really just sharing with you guys my journey. But this isn't more for you. This is more for me. But hopefully it can inspire someone out there to stop playing games, you know, with your potential. You know, if you know, you know that you can be doing better when it comes to uh, being disciplined in any area of your life, whether it's health and fitness or whatever it is that you know that you know that you're playing games with. Hopefully this video inspires you to stop playing games. Get up today, get up off that couch today and start making goals happen. So I've been on it, haven't been eating no junk food and you know, it's paying off, you know, for me, I've been like, I know what to do. Again, I'm a trainer, you know, I've been studying nutrition for a long time. I've been into this fitness uh, business, this fitness lifestyle for some years. So I know better and I know what to do. I'm done playing games, guys. I'm back on it, strength. We should, uh, look at this. We are the strength squad, you know what I mean? And it's not just in the gym that this right here represents this is life. This is the lifestyle of what we do. You know what I'm saying? We go after it, we get after it. So anyway, that will conclude the video. Hopefully you guys appreciated it. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you're brand spanking new because if you haven't heard, if nobody told you, strength squad, we going up. You know what I mean? Strength squad, we going up. Don't believe me, just watch me. As always, y'all, please do not let these words go over your head. Do what brings life to you, and it's a great chance that you'll bring life to whatever it is that you do. Please do not let those words go over it. Yeah, hey, I'm going to say it again. Let it sink in. Let it marinate. Say it with me. Do what brings life to you. Do what brings life to you, and it's a great chance that you'll bring life to whatever it is that you do. Strength Squad, we on a mission. You already know the goal is to what? The goal is to hashtag grow strength.